Welcome back, Legendary Potato here to another episode of how to play Minecraft basic stuff. And so this is a tutorial series on how to play Minecraft if you've never played this game before and some of the basic things you might need to know if you want to play this game for the first time. So anyways, in the last episode we got some of the basics, we got some resources, some stone tools, some food. And so what I'm going to do today so I'm going to do some more of that, but I'm also going to show you guys what it's like going underground and getting some of your first iron, coal, and even diamonds. And there's a few other resources you can get there as well, uh, but those are some of the main things you'll find, and they're going to be really exciting. Uh, so uh, that's the plan, of course. We'll see exactly how well that goes. And so this is the kind of base we made um, in the last episode. It's nothing crazy or fancy or anything. Uh, eventually, once we get a little bit better, we get some more resources. We'll make a, a really fancy house and show you guys how you can make a really nice house in Minecraft in survival mode. But for now, we're going to focus on the basic survival stuff. We're not going to worry about making a nice house just yet. We want to make sure we're pretty well off before we consider any sort of leisurely things here. So let's go ahead and get some more resources, some wood. And so we're going to need a whole bunch of wood uh, since we're going to be going underground. And so wood is something we're going to take with us uh, along with a few other things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and break some of these trees here. I've just been breaking the oak ones, but you can also break these birch ones. So uh, there's about six different types of trees uh, in Minecraft. And so I've only shown you guys two of them. Uh, but if you go to different areas of the world, you'll find different kinds of trees and they have different kind of look to them and they look really cool. So there's some of the, the birch ones there, uh, as you can see. So now I have a, quite a good amount of wood on me. I think this is a pretty good amount. And so what I'm going to do here is I'll put the birch wood away. I'll keep that for later. And so I will keep the uh, oak wood. I'll probably keep about 20 on me. I'll put about 20 in my chest. That should be plenty, uh, at least I hope. And anything else I want to bring with me? I think I'm okay. So not exactly too much I can do right now. Although what I do want to do before I do anything else is I'm going to make my own charcoal. And so basically what charcoal is, is it's basically cooked wood. And so it'll make uh, kind of like coal, uh, which is cool, uh, but it's not exactly coal. And so what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to make torches, which torches are a very common form of light. And so uh, light prevents mobs from spawning, makes it easier to see. And so I recommend you place down lots of torches once you start making them uh, around where you're surviving and stuff. So that way, at least there's slightly less mobs around there. So as you can see, I now have two pieces of charcoal. So let me show you guys how you can make some torches right here. If you put in two sticks and then you put in your charcoal uh, or your no uh, normal coal, I'll show you guys normal coal later as well, you can make some torches. And so I can't really demonstrate torches in here since it's already a little bit lit up. Uh, but if I went to go to a darker place, uh, what you guys would see is the torch will light it up and we can put it on the floor. We can put it on the walls. Uh, so whatever I want to do with that. So as you can see, it's getting darker as I go further underground, uh, which is good there. So it looks like I'm running into sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this other way because I do want to just go uh, towards stone and stuff. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put a torch down right there. As you can see, all of this is much more lit up, so I can see exactly what I'm doing again. And so I'll just dig down just a little bit more, but before I go underground, I am going to grab the rest of the charcoal that I was making. Uh, but yeah, so I think I can hear a spider. So one of the mobs um, in this game, it's a spider. You can kind of hear it crawling around making some noises. Uh, most of the mobs in this game make some sort of uh, very obvious noise. Uh, there's a few exceptions, but most of them will make a, a very clear noise that there's one nearby. And so it's kind of a good warning signal to, to know that there's something going on. Sometimes that noise can actually be useful and help you locate something like a cave, uh, which we might be able to find one uh, very soon. We'll find out shortly, I guess, if we keep digging around here. Uh, and so as you can see, we're now digging into what is called diorite. This stuff is basically useless, so I wouldn't worry too much about gathering this stuff, but if you have it, um, you probably won't need it for anything, but I guess you could either toss it out in your inventory uh, or you can keep it for maybe a house or whatever you want to do with that, of course. But I am going to dig underground, and so I'm going to make a staircase, and so that's going to allow me to get back up and down. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of just trying to dig straight down like this. Um, 
which is a really bad idea, which uh, that can, you know, either land you in a cave, land you in some lava and kill you. So don't ever dig straight down like this. You want to make some sort of staircase. Some people like to make stairs straight down. Some people like to make a spiral staircase. So it kind of goes in the same area. Whatever you want to do is fine. And so as you can see here as well, we found some coal. And so uh, most of the minerals in this game are going to look something like this. They'll have this sort of pattern on them and then they'll have a certain color. So that color is going to tell you what exactly this mineral is. So this black one here is coal. So if we go ahead and get it, it's going to look slightly different than the charcoal, uh, but it is still the same concept here. So we'll go ahead and get a whole bunch of this. Uh, coal is a really great thing to get early on, uh, so you won't need a crazy amount of it, uh, but the more you get early on, then the less you'll have to get later on. So I'll go ahead and get a bunch of this here, and we should be all set to go. And so. What I'll do, get all that, and then I'll continue down with my staircase, but as you can uh, hear probably in the background, there is a spider that seems to be very loud right now, so um, there is a chance that we could run into a cave, which caves are not bad or good. They're kind of, at least in my opinion, they're kind of neutral. They're kind of good to walk around in, uh, but they're also kind of dangerous as opposed to strip mining. So um, what exactly that means is... is um, there's a chance that mobs can spawn in there. It's, you know, kind of likely because caves are usually 99% of the time going to be very dark. And so you want to be kind of careful when you're walking around them. You can run into anything. Things that will probably kill you if you're not careful where you're going. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and strip mine. Uh, at least unless if I find a cave. If I find a cave, then I'll show you guys the cave. If I don't find one, then I'll just go ahead and strip mine here. And so... Strip mining is basically just breaking the blocks uh, in a sort of tunnel, and so that you'll be able to find stuff there. You won't have to go inside of a cave, and, but that does mean uh, occasionally you will run into a cave every now and then, but that's not too much of a problem. So this is why we brought the oak wood with us. As you can see, our pickaxe just broke. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another crafting table like I did before, and then I'm also going to make some sticks, some planks, uh, so that I can go ahead and make uh, more stuff there. So uh, you're probably going to want to make a temporary crafting table for when you're down here. Uh, and so I'll make a couple pickaxes like that. You can make multiple at the same time if you want to, like that. Boom, done. If you shift click, uh, then you'll be able to get multiple right there, which is always kind of nice. So now I have that right there. I also have a backup one, uh, so you can bring down as many as you'd like with you. Uh, but as you can see here, I found what is gold. And so gold um, is not exactly the most useful thing. Um, I kind of wish I found iron before gold because iron is more useful and it's more common. So the fact that I haven't found iron yet is a little bit surprising to me. Uh, but I will not be able to gather this gold yet with just a stone pickaxe. Uh, I do need an iron pickaxe to break it. So if I did this, I would not get the gold. And so there's some blocks in the game where you need a strong enough tool in order to mine it. Most commonly uh, is going to be some sort of iron pickaxe or stone pickaxe in order to gather it. So it looks like I found a cave uh, as well as some iron. And so this is the stuff I was wanting is the iron right here. And so you can break this iron, but what's different about the iron from the coal is the coal gives you this coal item, but when you break the iron, it's going to give you this iron ore. And so it's going to be the same block that you just mined, whereas the coal, it's uh, just kind of a coal item that you can use immediately. So basically, I'll show you guys how you guys can deal with this. The same thing applies with the gold uh, as well. It's going to give you the gold ore, which then you have to smelt uh, accordingly. So I'm going to make some more torches right here. And so I'm going to use the rest of my charcoal. Okay, so, oh, that's a creeper. So be a little bit careful of these guys. These guys are the worst mob in the game because they explode. And so... That's why you got to be careful when you're inside of a cave, because these guys will sneak up on you. But that was a creeper there. Uh, if you ever see them, uh, just run in the opposite direction, because uh, they are kind of hard to defeat. It does take a lot of practice. So now that I've lit up uh, a little bit around me, I'll be a little bit safer now. I'll be able to gather some of this iron. And so iron is great for early on, early game stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to gather a whole bunch of this. And so that will allow me to make my first set of armor. 
right now my player is just uh, naked like this. I don't have anything on me, but I can put on some sort of helmet, some sort of chest plate, some sort of leggings, and some sort of boots. These four sections right here, uh, get comfortable with those because you are going to need to uh, add to that as well. Basically what the armor does is it protects you uh, from enemies and some other things as well. So it's good to make armor as soon as humanly possible, but you do need 24 of an item in order to get that armor. Right now I have 14, so I would need uh, 10 more iron if I want to make some sort of armor. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's now gold, and there's also redstone. Redstone's a little bit complicated, so I'm going to kind of avoid that for the time being. Uh, I don't want to confuse you with what redstone is. It's kind of a cool thing, uh, but for a player that's starting this game for the first time, it's not exactly a very easy thing to understand, um, so I'll kind of leave that there. I'm going to get uh, some more of this iron. Hopefully I'll be able to find enough for some armor, maybe even some tools, because we can also make, uh, instead of tone, uh, stone tools, sorry, instead of stone tools, we can make iron tools instead. So we can kind of slowly upgrade them uh, even further, which is always nice. And so I'm going to get some more coal here so I can make more torches and smelt more stuff, because I am going to want to smelt this iron. I want to make some more torches so I can, you know, go further in the mine as well. So I'll get a bunch of this. I'm not going to get all the coal in this cave because I would take absolutely forever. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just gather a decent amount of it uh, so that then I can at least have plenty for the time being. But you can never really have too much coal. It's really helpful to have on you uh, for if you need to cook things, if you need torches, whatever you need. Coal is always just kind of there to help you out. So uh, some people don't really appreciate coal all that much, but... Hey, I like coal. It gives you experience, which I don't think I've even mentioned yet. So that green bar, as you can see, there's uh, some green orbs coming out of this. And so uh, there's a few things in this game that will give you this experience stuff here. And so experience will become a little bit more useful later on. I'll kind of be a little bit vague about it for now, uh, but it will come up again later on. Uh, but when you do various actions in the game, it's going to give you green experience orbs, which gives you experience levels. And so, as you can see, I'm at level 3 experience. And so, uh, basically, that just kind of shows how much uh, experience I have. Uh, and you do lose a lot of it when you die. So, you do want to kind of prevent yourself from dying. Uh, otherwise, you'll lose this stuff. And it's, it's very helpful to have a lot of experience levels. Um, so, it's kind of a good idea to try and avoid uh, dying, if at all possible. Uh, but it is kind of hard to die on easy mode, but just be a little bit careful when you're doing things. So I'm going to walk around the cave. I'm going to throw down torches in the middle of the room. Some people like to throw torches down on the right side of the wall so they know how to get back out of the cave. Uh, all personal preference, if you want to make some sort of uh, pattern or whatever you want to do with your torches, you go right for that. But for me, I like to put it in the middle. That way I can have a lot more of the room lit up. And so now that I'm out of here, as you can see, we've run into gravel. And there's also floating gravel on the ceiling here. So be careful of that. If you run into floating gravel, you do not want to touch it because it will fall on top of you and it will be a bad time. So basically, uh, I'm walking around in this weird tunnel that goes downwards like this, or I guess upwards in the way we're going. Uh, but yeah, basically, I can kind of just dis, uh, discover whatever's going on here. And I'll show you guys what happens when you touch the gravel uh, right here. So just kind of a, a little bit warning. Don't do this uh, if you're standing under it because it'll do that and it will crush you. So uh, just be a little bit careful of that because, yeah, you can, you can easily die to that if you're not careful. But there's also more floating gravel there. I'm just going to avoid touching it for the time being. But there's some iron here. We'll go ahead and get some more of this iron. And what that will allow us to do is hopefully make our iron armor perfect. We have enough iron for armor now. So let's go ahead and start cooking our iron. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to light this up. This doesn't really go too far, but there is some iron here. So it's always a good idea to make sure you check every little crevice of a cave. You might be able to find some more iron and some more gold, some more uh, whatever you're looking for. You'll, you'll be able to find some of that hopefully. Uh, but yes, yeah, so now let's go ahead and use our furnace. We've used a furnace before, uh, but we're going to use one again. 
So what I'm going to do, oh, this is also the first time I'm eating in the game, uh, but if we press the LT, we'll be able to eat the food here. And so it brought my hunger back up. It also allows me to heal. So as you can see, my uh, half a heart that was gone is now back up. So what I'm going to do, put down my crafting table, and I'm going to make another furnace. Don't worry, I know I have one on the surface, uh, but I do want to make another one right down when I'm here. I don't want to go back up to my base and then come back down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in my iron ore right in there, and then I'll throw in my coal. So now that's going to cook there. So every piece of coal does eight items. So one piece of coal right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this cooks that. Uh, but basically, uh, if you want to do the math there, if you know how to divide by 8, uh, then you know I had 31 pieces of iron, which if I had 32 pieces, that would perfectly use um, exactly 4 pieces of coal. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cook for a little bit there. Uh, and so when we're done with the cooking of the iron, which will take just a good amount of time, uh, it does take, I don't know how many like things it takes here, but as you can see, it's kind of cooking there. gives you the iron, uh, so it will take a decent amount of time. So remember where you place your furnace in case you decide to wander off a little bit while it does this. Uh, because if you lose your furnace and you can't find it, well, then you just lost your iron and stuff that you were just doing. So, yeah, be a little bit careful of that and you should be okay. Oop. All right, again, be careful of the gravel. Like, sometimes it's in really weird locations like that and we'll try to kill you. So, that's a thing there. Uh, but this is lava right here. This is what it looks like and do not touch it because it will set you on fire that's a bad time so um, you can try to block out the, the lava like that uh, and it will uh, make it vanish and so as you can see uh, now it's gone now I can walk around here safely everything's all fine and so let's see where this tunnel goes to it looks like yep it reaches a dead end right here so now I know this area is completely safe I can go ahead and gather my uh, resources right here Something I'm going to try and do, hopefully in this episode or in the next episode, is try and find some diamonds, uh, which is the best mineral in the game, uh, the strongest one, the longest lasting, and the fastest. So the thing is about it is it's very rare and very hard to find. So it, like even if you follow my instructions uh, precisely, you might not be able to find diamonds right away. So. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Finding your first diamond, so it's very, very exciting. So let's go ahead and get some more coal here so we can cook some more iron like that. And we'll go back to our furnace. We'll throw some more of this iron in here. Where is that? Right there. So uh, I'll kind of do that. There's some more in here as well. But you do want to gather as much iron as possible. Iron is a very useful thing as well. There's so many things you can use with iron, not just for armor, but for a lot of things as well. There's a lot of things you can uh, put together with it. So gather as much as you see, and hopefully that will be enough for you for a little while. But I always like to get a stack or two of iron, uh, which everything in this game stacks up to 64. So as you can see right there, it stacks up to 64. That's when you've hit the limit. And so, I'm not sure exactly why that's the limit, but it just is. And so, right there, as you can see, every single item, uh, with a few exceptions, there's some items that stack up to, like, 16 or only stack up to 1. So, that's just a, a sort of a thing there. But yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm finding any more iron right now. Uh, but I do have some of this gold right here, which I will uh, go ahead and break that. But this is also the redstone I mentioned earlier, uh, which can be also broken only with an iron pickaxe or a diamond pickaxe. Uh, and basically, just to summarize redstone really quickly, uh, it's electrical. So it's kind of like electrical wiring in the game. So if you want to do some sort of mechanical stuff, you can kind of uh, use that there. But uh, for, you know, basic stuff in this game, I don't think I'm really going to do much with that. I will uh, mine it and take it with me in case if I do want to use it later. But now we're at about 22 iron. So I just need two more pieces of iron there. And that will allow me to make my iron set of armor. And so this will add a lot of protection to me. It will keep me safer. Uh, it won't, uh, you know, prevent me from dying. But it will definitely, uh, you know, help avoid it a little bit. Or it won't, like, completely be death proof. But it, it will help, you know, do that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, I guess, follow along with me if you want to do this. We're going to put in one, two, three, four, five in this sort of shape here. That's going to give me my helmet. So that's going to cost five there. 
we're going to make a chest plate which is just filling in every single piece of iron in this thing except for this one right here that gives you the chest plate there we're going to put in things for pants one two three four five six seven so that gives you the leggings and then we're going to make the boots one two one two and that is right there the iron boots so now we've got all our armor the four pieces what we can do now is we can put them on our player like this and now we look a lot more equipped right there isn't that pretty cool so now we got all that right there uh, and we'll be able to make even more stuff uh, with this iron here so we've got five pieces let's go ahead and make ourselves an iron pickaxe which will be right there that's that so it's better than a stone one so I will just replace that for the time being but we can also make ourselves an iron sword with these remaining two uh, which is of course better than the stone ones. So a lot of this game is just upgrading your previous stuff uh, and so we can make an iron axe if I want to as well. Not really as necessary if you just want to stick to the stone that's uh, not too much of an issue. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and do it just to show you guys is that you can upgrade your stuff very easily right there. So I'll take that and make myself a upgraded shovel as well. And there's a bunch of other things you can make with iron. It's not just making tools and stuff. Uh, there's other stuff uh, but yeah as you can see we now have upgraded tools don't those look pretty nice and shiny uh, so now I can go ahead and mine some of these new things that being the gold so I'll go ahead and take some of this right here uh, one two three four I think that was like about six pieces oh, that's four pieces wait oh, five pieces uh, so yeah we got five golds right there and also mine the redstone and so this is going to give you experience uh, and drop uh, and actually a bunch of stuff here so as you can see if you want a bunch of experience for later on get some redstone because this stuff uh, does give you a lot right there so that was that we now have a whole bunch of redstone sitting in our inventory so it does clog up your inventory very quick if you do get a lot of it so just something to keep in mind there uh, but that was that. I believe we also saw some gold uh, on our way down here anyways in the staircase. Uh, which make sure you don't lose that staircase because if you do then, you know, you'd probably be stuck down here. You can make your way out of here, uh, but it's just really inconvenient. Uh, so just make sure if you know where you were or where you started, uh, just have a little sense of direction and you should be okay. But uh, worst case scenario, you'll have to dig out of here uh, and dig back up to the surface. Uh, which sometimes can be risky, time consuming, and it's just, you know, try and avoid that at all, if it's all at all possible. Um, but yeah, my staircase was right here, so I'll just be able to make some stairs that will bring me uh, down in here. So now I can go ahead and get out of here if I would like to. But I think I'm going to stay in here for just a little bit. I'm going to get the iron that I saw, or not the iron, the gold I saw earlier, uh, right up here. So I'll just go ahead and do that. One to uh, how many pieces just quite a few pieces right there um, what is that I was also another thing of five but most ores with the exception of like coal uh, will be in like uh, a vein of one to eight pieces of it so I found like two five pieces of it there so like two things but coal coal just comes in a ton you'll just get tons of stuff from it um, honestly it really just varies a lot but uh, other than that, the other ores will yeah just usually come in one to eight. So that's just something to keep in mind there. Uh, look at that. Look how much. Oh, okay. There's gravel. See, look at that. Gravel's everywhere. Uh, very deadly stuff, but it's also very useful for building a lot of things as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end today's episode there. We got a, quite a lot done. We got some iron armor, some iron tools, found some gold and redstone. And I'm hoping in the next episode I might be able to show you guys how you can find your own first diamonds and what exactly you can do with them. Um, but they are very rare, so that is something to keep in mind, of course. So if you don't find uh, many diamonds, uh, don't worry, you will have to find some more. Uh, but it is a little bit difficult. I'll show you guys how you can do all that. But thank you guys all for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like on it. It does help out the channel a lot. Let's me know you guys did appreciate the episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, guys. And peace.